right. I think I'm gonna have to get a socket on that now. very noisy here today but uh, you'll have to bear with me because it's just coming to the end of rush hour so anyway welcome to narrowboat precious jet my name's steve tyrrell and we're back at the refits um, it's going to be a short video this week it really is going to be a short video this week probably only about five or ten minutes um, still plucking up the courage to um, start cracking on with the boatman's cabin at the back of the boat so i'm still trying to get the courage together to get on with it um, However, I've got a couple of little jobs I want to do first. One of them is this. I've got two of these. Um, let me quickly unwrap it and I'll show you. So, there you go, a big white thing. Um, and the trouble is, well, that's the trouble, it's white. Uh, and all the bits that go with it are white. Um, and everything else on the roof of my boat is black. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi aerial, by the way, to go on the Wi-Fi for the boat. Um, I've got two of these uh, because the router I've got has got four ports and each one of these has two little holes, look, two, uh, sorry, two little aerial ports. Um, and the router I've got has got four ports. So I'm thinking I might spray these black uh, just to match the chimneys. Uh, and that goes for the bracket and probably about two foot of the cable as well. So. Let me just show you the one on the roof of the boat and I'll, uh, and I'll explain to you exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, by the way, if, um, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Noisy person. So if you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to comment down below. And also, if you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate, I'd really appreciate a subscription off you. Don't cost you anything. Uh, and if you want to be notified, then click the bell. Okay, let's get going. Right, so there's the one I've got on the boat already, just uh, temporarily wired in. And as you can see, the wires run down here and go through the, um, the pigeon box. I don't want to do that. Um, what I want to do is move this just to buy the um, mushroom. And then the cable will come down. They'll be nicely cable tied to the post. And then they'll go up and into the mushroom and I'll put a cable tie around the bottom of the mushroom to hold the wire in place. And then that will run in then into the boat Oh, he's there with his horn again. He's a horny man. He is a horny man. Uh, and then I'll run that into the boat, go through all the channels in the wiring, wiring channels under the roof, and that'll bring me out in the engine room in, in a bit later. So that's the plan for the day. And as I was saying earlier, look, these, they're, um, it's all bare metal, look. And that's all well and good, um, but I want them all to be black. So I'm gonna take these inside, tape them up. Um, I think I'm gonna paint these black as well. I don't think it'd make a big difference if I do paint it black. So let's see how we get on anyway. It's, it's rather noisy out here. Right, let's get that one down. Get the one I've just unpacked uh, wired up onto the pole and then we'll cable tie them in place and then we'll at least paint these bits anyway and the cable. I'm not sure whether I'll paint them yet, but I can't see a layer of paint on top of that plastic making much difference, can you? Oh well, we'll see. Okay, stand by.
Right, I've unscrewed the mushroom and I've also unscrewed the, uh, the vent on the inside. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shove the wire down and then once I'm inside I'll show you what I've done. I've got the, um, the uh, electrician's fish and I've put it across through the roof to find the gap here. So I'll show you. When I go inside I'll show you. So quickly put these down inside now. Okay, the first one is there and the second one's going through here at the back of the boat. So let's unscrew that cap and um, get that in place as well. Right, so that's the mushroom screwed back on both of those now. And um, they don't look too bad actually. I mean, that's quite big, but it'll do for now. I can always trim it down if need be anyway. Um, and the good thing is I've left a little bit of cable there so that when I'm cruising, I can lay it flat and stick it to the back of the uh, hatch or something, just lay it flat maybe. Doesn't really matter, so. But yeah, that's them kind of done anyway. Better than leaving the wires across the roof, that's for sure. Um, going through the mushrooms isn't ideal but it does a job for now. And like I said, I'd rather not drill holes in the roof. Well, I haven't said that, but I'd, I'd rather not drill holes in the roof, same as when I did the, uh, the solar panels. So there you go. Right, let's uh, have a look inside and show you what I've done there. Right, we're now in the galley. Uh, and as I said, I've got the uh, electrician's fish here and it comes out across over here. Look, that's where it comes out there. And it comes out just right here. So I can bring the cables through and then run them through the roof with the rest of the cables and then plumb them into the uh, plumb them into or wire them into the uh, router um, looks a bit red in here because yeah the boat next door is red so we've got a bit of a red showing through but yeah that's the plan anyway so um, let me pull them through there's no need for me to show you doing that you've seen all that sort of stuff before so I'll show you when it's finished it's like you never knew I was there Apart from the big hole here, look. Um, but that was already exposed anyway before I even started today, so it doesn't matter. So the air vent's back in there. Let's have a quick wander through. You can see the cable running across the top there, look. The very top cable running over. There's the temporary place for the Wi-Fi box. And then the other cable, air vent's in. And the cable's dangling there, ready for when I put the other, the other Wi-Fi router in. Yeah. Not a bad little job for the day. Right, I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Right, today's little job. Battery charger. Um, now winter's come, the solar. Uh, now, I'm, as I'm living on the boat, the solar isn't quite enough. If I, uh, if I put my hot water on and all that sort of stuff, um, solar ain't quite so good. So, battery charger's out. Got some wire, won't need that much. I only need a small amount. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna wire it into here, positive into there, negative into there. Um, and then, so I'd like to try and fit it up here somewhere, but I don't know whether that's gonna to be too high up in the air. You can't see, can you? Um, so I wanna fit it so that, you see you got the screen on the front there. I wanna fit it so I can see the screen, so I can tell what's going on. However, I don't really want to fit it down like that. I mean, I could fit it over here. That wouldn't that wouldn't be an issue there, would it really? The only thing is I've got to route the power cable. <clears throat> power cable's got to come round to here to plug into there. So let me have a sit in a ponder. Um, I may even mount it 
Let's move that out of the way a second. I may even mount it under there or something, something like this maybe. See that, that almost fits in there. Yeah, I could make that fit. Hang on, let me just kick you out of the way a sec. Oh, I can't quite get it in there because of that there. I could make it fit actually. I could make that fit. Hmm, bit too, bit too close. So I think I'll probably fit it something like this, maybe somewhere there, maybe. I'm not sure. Let me have a play, and I'll come back to you in a minute. down there you all right did it hurt okay i'll pick you up hang on oh, let's go down and get you out oh right to the engine oh how are you feeling god makes me look a bit red faced with that boat behind doesn't it Never mind. battery charger in looks a little bit at an angle I might have to undo that and redo it so it looks a bit of an angle but I can sort that out um, need to put a bit of shrink wrap on the end of that one and I'm gonna put a bit of shrink wrap on the end of that one as well but uh, I'll do that when I find out what I've done with the shrink wrap <laughs> the heat shrink so yeah another little job ticked off Still got to wait for the power cable, obviously. That's coming, like I said, sometime today or tomorrow. Don't know exactly when, uh, but it'll be here soon. And as soon as it comes, I'll, what I'll do is I'll plump, I'll put a little bit of this trunk in here. I think I've got some spare. I'll just run it up the wall here. Sorry, you can't see, sorry. Run a bit of trunking up the wall there. Um, and then the, the power cable can go across the top. And then it can just pop down and plug into there. That'll be fine then. Um, I could hardwire it in I suppose but um, I don't think you need to I think that'll be fine yeah oh, another job ticked off the list like I said that looks a little bit not straight pissed up one or the other so what I might do is when I've got the floor and if I don't like it if it does look if it definitely is I, I'm not sure whether it's the angle I'm sat at or whether it actually is a bit drunk but I mean looking on the camera it looks drunk doesn't it okay We'll see. I'll put the floor in. If it still looks odd, then I'll unscrew it and just slightly move it and then screw it back in. It won't take much. Two minute job, that's all. I'll just loosen the screws, move that up, tighten the screws. Perfect. Okay. Lovely. Just got to wait for the power cable to come now. 
I um, I've got another job to do, but I may not do that until tomorrow, and it involves the the lift pump on Old Smoky. So I might do that tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, right. Catch you in a bit. Okay, so this is what we're going to remove today. This is this here is what they call the lift pump, and uh, it basically lifts diesel out of the tank, takes it up into the injector pump, and then the injector pump high pressurizes it and pushes it through to the injectors. But this is the pump that lifts the diesel out of the tank and brings it into the engine. As we're planning on removing a lot of diesel, I'm going to loosen. I'm going to put sorry, not loose. I'm going to put this. Uh, puppy pad under here just to catch any diesel that we lose we are going to lose a fair bit of diesel out of this I will try and catch some of it um, but the majority of it will will end up getting spilt so we'll put that down for now and try and catch as much as we can Right, against my better judgment, I have um, <laughs> on the work counter in the galley. Um, this should hold any diesel that spills. I, don't, I can't see there being much diesel that spills, but it will hold it. I'm going to go and get a pad as well and put a, an absorbent pad on here. But this is my workstation for the next um, hour or so, however long it takes.
Right, so I've got the pump stripped down to its bare shell. It's a bit dirty and a bit grubby. There's, um, if you can look in there, there's water in that diesel. See how it bubbles at the top here? Look, there's like little bubbles in there. That's water. And also, if you look in there, you see you can shine the light on it. Look at all that crap in there. So that's going to get a clean out. So I'm going to get some brake cleaner and clean all that off, clean that out. Um, and then start rebuilding it again. Okay, so we're back together. Which is not too bad. Um, don't seem to be much movement in this when it pumps, but we'll see. There's no way of adjusting that either. That that just is what it is. Um, or at least I don't think I can adjust it. Okay. Job done. Let's stick it back on and uh, prime it by hand. Done a bit more as well. I haven't cocked up, but I've kind of messed up a bit. This goes on here like this. Look, that's um, a little cover that goes on there, lot somewhere. And inside there, that's how it sits like that. And that's just on the side of the engine there, lot. And inside there sits a little filter. There's the filter, and I don't have one. And you see the seal at the back all wrinkled up, all wrinkly wrinkly, like that should be flat and it's not. Um, this is the diesel that came out. So that's another water separator. So that's going to stay off for a couple of days. Um, I'm going to go to Gart, I'm going to go to um, Tony Redshaws and pick up a new filter. I'll grab half a dozen more on there or something. In fact, I'll, I'll get all the filters for the whole engine and I'll give it a service at some point in the next couple of weeks. It's due one, so right. That'll have to wait, finish that next week. 
Right, sitting here amongst the mess that is my engine room at the moment. Um, just put a cloth under there to catch any diesel that's dripping because it's going to drip everywhere. It's going to go everywhere if I'm not careful. Right, back with you. Um, sitting in here now that amongst the mess of my engine room, um, I'm going to bid you farewell. Uh, I'm done for the week now. Um, I've got a few jobs done. Still trying to pluck the courage up to do that. Uh, boatman's cabin which is behind you. I've got some jobs to do before I can do that. Um, I need to sit down and make a list of what I need to do first before I can make a start on that. So, this week's not been too bad. Um, got a few jobs done which is nice. Uh, could have done with doing a bit more but while I'm living on the boat, while I'm working nights, uh, living on the boat and sleeping in the afternoons, it's a bit awkward. Uh, and I'm thinking when I eventually do get round to doing the boatman's cabin at the back I'm gonna have to move off the boat for a few weeks while I do it um, I might still sleep the odd day here, but I think generally I'm gonna move off the boat and um, Sleep at Birmingham at Lady PJ's house. I think that's the plan Well, that's gonna have to be the plan. So but we'll we'll play it by ear and see what happens I might get away with it, but it's just running out of space um, I can do the boatman's cabin, but I've got nowhere to put my tools. Uh, and I can't keep taking my tools out, putting them away, taking them out, putting them away. And I've got to take them out and put them away every day. And it's just a bit of a bind. So the plan is, I think now, um, yeah, perhaps move into Lady PJ's for a couple of weeks, uh, do the boatman's cabin, or get most of, the, most of the woodwork done. The rest I can sort out as and when, but if I get most of the woodwork done, that's, that's the big thing, you know, so. Okay, right. I've been rattling on for too long. Uh, you guys probably got stuff to do. You don't want to sit here and watch my crap. So anyway, take care of yourselves, take care of your families. And if you're not subscribed, click on that button. You know you want to. I mean, you can't beat um, a crappy narrowboat vlogger, can you? Just to, you know, make you whatever day it is. Um, yeah, thumbs up, comment down below. Love your comments. And also, like I said, don't forget to, sub 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 don't forget to subscribe. Okay, all right, see you soon, take care, see you, bye.